Can you get viruses from freeware? Is freeware safe to use without getting computer viruses? I recently got a comment on one of my videos which warned about viruses and freeware. I do videos about freeware for Windows and Linux distros which are usually free. My motto is if it's free, it's for me. So I was rather concerned that people may think they could get viruses from programs I talk about. Hi, Dennis Ray here. Why am I doing this video? This is the comment I got on one of my videos. I quote, nothing, and I mean nothing, is free in this day and age. So grow up and stop trying to promote the transfer of Trojans, so on. Trojans are a type of computer virus Maybe the fellow had a bad experience with some freeware. The irony is this gentleman is offering free advice when he specifically states that nothing, nothing is free in this day and age. Hmm. But it got me thinking, does all freeware really spread viruses? Let's check the reasons computers get viruses. The biggest spreader is email from unknown sources and or attachments. Another way of getting viruses is from sites that offer cracked software or clicking on various links on the internet going to who knows where. It is possible for freeware to spread viruses, but highly unlikely. I'll explain my reasoning. What is freeware? There are many different kinds. Donationware, adware, open source, and many other types. Freeware is developed by individuals, groups, and companies. There are many freeware sites that offer repositories of freeware and shareware available for downloading. The safest sites are those that have been in business for a long time. They are, of course, a business just like any brick and mortar business. They make their revenue from advertising, from the ads that appear on their sites. Trusted software sites would not benefit by offering freeware that have viruses attached. Just like any business, if they gained a reputation for offering virus-ridden software, the loss of people coming to their site would cause them to lose their sponsors and thus their revenue. Trusted download sites that have been up for many years would definitely make sure no viruses are associated with the software on their site or they're out of business. The same with the individuals, groups, or companies that offer freeware. They depend on the freeware they are offering to generate revenue for them. If the freeware is donationware, the developers are hoping you will like the software enough that you will donate some money back to them so they can keep developing. Offering freeware that have viruses would certainly stop anyone from sending a donation. Adware is offered by companies that may include an advertisement with the software trying to entice you to either buy a premium version of the software or programs that they offer. The freeware offered may be like the premium version but without some of the features. Kind of like one chews gum but the premium version chews gum and walks at the same time. Open source is often donationware. Again, depending on donations from users to be able to keep developing. Since all of these forms of freeware depend on generating revenue in some way, they too, just like freeware sites, would go to great lengths to make sure their software does not have viruses attached. So is it safe to download freeware without getting a computer virus? Yes if you are careful to only use trusted sources. Of course, it is always important to use a good antivirus. There are many really good free antivirus programs available and some great proprietary antivirus that you can buy. See the links in the description. Windows 8 and 10 includes Windows Defender, which over the years has become a very decent antivirus program. It is advisable to always scan any freeware you download with your antivirus just to make sure it's safe. For extra defense, back up all your important files, not just once, but twice. 
Back up your computer in an image file. Reference my video link in the description about using Macron Reflect Free to back up your computer. The best defense against getting viruses is you and how you browse the internet. Be careful about what email you open, any links that come with them, any sketchy links you find on the internet, sites that offer cracked software, or other shady internet sites. And so, to the gentleman that commented on my video, freeware does not necessarily spread viruses, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but I will not grow up and will continue to do videos on freeware. Before I leave you, I urge you to check out the links below in the description concerning types of viruses, ways of getting viruses, the best antivirus programs, the safest freeware sites, how to keep shady apps from screwing up your computer, my video about how to use Macron Reflect Free to back up your computer, and be sure to back up your important files more than once. Redundancy is your friend. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments and subscribe below. Like and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See you.